also have a good friend of mine, Dave, who lives here in Florida, and we're. I like turtles. How'd that get in there? A new phenomenon: civilian divers cracking cold cases for Help free. Came ultimately not from law enforcement, but a group of citizen cold case sleuths, YouTubers, and scuba divers called Adventures with Purpose. Desiree's search for answers took her to an unlikely place: YouTube. A special dive team says they have recovered 16-year-old Kylie Rotney's Honda CRV from Prosser Lake. They found a body inside, and investigators say it is likely Kylie. KK here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and the latest installment of videos related to Jared Lysak and Adventures with Purpose. Unfortunately, this is not going to be a video about good friends. This is one about yet another person pretending to be a friend to Jared Lysak's face while putting a knife right into his back when he's not looking. Before we get started, a few disclaimers, notices, etc. in case anyone watching this gets any big ideas, as I am aware that there have been some threats thrown around all willy-nilly and stuff. Meet Dave Yurkovich. He's a fairly new face on the Adventures with Purpose scene, recently featured along with Sunshine State Sonar in partnership with AWP in the search for and recovery of Maureen Sherman, and more recently, AWP's and Sunshine State Sonar's collaborative search for Billy Bragg and Ralph Belvedere in Florida back in November 2023. The RV that Adventures with Purpose used for this trip had some issues that needed repair, such as the awning, trailer wiring, and lights. Nothing too major, but Yurkovich volunteered to do maintenance and repairs on the RV. I think that maybe I might do one or two more days here because I am parking the RV at Dave's. Yeah. And then I'll be flying out tomorrow. But I... So Isaac left both his RV and equipment trailer in Yurkovich's care and flew back home to Oregon. Later in January 2024, Isaac returned to Florida for a new search trip, and Dave was to meet him with the RV and trailer. All right. First trip of 2024, about to get started. Ready to rock and roll. See you in South Florida. At that time, a few things had not been repaired yet. So after doing other searches, including the search for Savannah Hale in Shreveport, Louisiana, and another in Missouri, Lysak again left his RV and trailer with Yurkovich on the promise that the repairs would be completed this time. The RV was reportedly taken to Indiana, where, reportedly, Dave claimed to have a shop with secure and covered storage for it in the trailer. And this is where things start to go wrong for Lysak. According to reports, Lysak had entrusted his RV and trailer to Yurkovich on the understanding that they were only for repairs and not for personal use. Lysak was promised that they would be stored in a secured, covered storage lot so that his RV and equipment were kept safe. In addition, the equipment in Lysak's trailer was off limits, only with the exception of two air tanks that Yurkovich was reportedly allowed to use for his own diving. Everything else was to stay in the trailer. As a brief side note, reports say that somewhere in the time that the January 2024 search trip ended and the time of this video, Sunshine State Sonar and Yurkovich are no longer affiliated. I'm not aware of the reasons for this and will comment no further on that. I mention it because it is relevant, as I stated previously, that Yurkovich had previously worked on cases with Sunshine State Sonar and reportedly that will no longer be the case. According to the information I received, Yurkovich first started out as a fan of Adventures with Purpose, showing reports such as sending frequent emails and gift cards. Lysak would casually befriend Yurkovich and develop sympathetic feelings for him. Yurkovich was reportedly not happy with his status in life and wanted to feel like he was doing something meaningful, and so Lysak allowed him to tag along on the November 2023 search trip as a friend. This is how Yurkovich came to know Sunshine State Sonar. For clarification, he tagged along with Adventures with Purpose as a friend and never as an official AWP volunteer or paid team member with any contract. Now back to the story, the part about Yurkovich only having the RV and equipment trailer for doing repairs and not for personal use. I already know that there are a variety of characters who will watch this video, 
Some of them are folks who are not well behaved and are given to the worst impulses, especially when it comes to Jared Lysak and anyone positively affiliated with Adventures with Purpose. I can't control that, but I can say that in no way do I encourage any actual harassment toward anyone, and especially someone who has done nothing wrong, but has merely found themselves involved in a story like this through no fault of their own. Therefore, what follows contains redactions for this individual's safety and privacy. This photo was posted by an affiliate of Yurkovich who went diving with him on a search trip on their own and without AWP. Posted on February 8th, 2024, while AWP's equipment was supposed to be securely locked up in their trailer, this photo appears to show that life vests and other items that appear to belong to AWP are, in fact, in the back of this truck that belongs to either Yurkovich or the unnamed affiliate. Big deal, right? It's just a couple of life vests, no harm in that. And I can imagine the feeling would have been the same for Lysig if that was all this was. The same affiliate of Yurkovich posted this also on February 8th, 2024, and yes, that's Adventures with Purpose's dive compressor, which absolutely should be in their trailer and not in the bed of Yurkovich's truck, along with four, instead of just the permitted two, air tanks. Our life has gotten a lot easier. We just picked up, look at this. This is a dive compressor, dual. We can actually fill our tanks out in the field. We're sitting here by the river right now. We found five cars out there just now. We have two more cars down the way. We have 12 people that are missing in the area with their vehicles, and we no longer have to waste time going to a dive shop or to a fire station. Thank you everybody for supporting us. And uh, you know, we did uh, quite a bit of research in which compressor to go with. We landed on this company here. Uh, they have not sponsored us. They just happen to be one of the companies that puts out some of the best gear in the market that we found in our research. So definitely check them out if you are in the market for a dive compressor oh life like i said life is so much easier when you go ahead and push the button on that like just fire that thing up it's an auto these things are not cheap if anything would have happened to the compressor that would greatly affect how awp can work on future dives Yurkovich had only recently been dive certified, so it's hard to say what level of experience he may have with specialty equipment such as a dive compressor, but word is Lysik would likely have allowed him to use it with caution if he'd have just asked. However, not only did Yurkovich not ask Lysik for permission to use his highly expensive equipment before removing it from his trailer, Yurkovich reportedly actively told people around him to not tell Lysik that he was using his equipment. And Lysak may not have ever known, if not for the fact that Yurkovich's affiliate had tagged Adventures with Purpose in these photos for people to find on an AWP hashtag alert. Around the same time, Adventures with Purpose reportedly also began to receive reports that the RV had been seen being driven around and parked at various hotels in the same town or area in Indiana that Yurkovich stated that they would be stored. It would be hard to miss the AWP RV and trailer, so this would have been easy to spot for anyone familiar with Adventures with Purpose. Remember earlier when I said that Yurkovich reportedly told Lysik that the RV and trailer would be parked at his shop and in a secured and covered storage facility? No such thing. According to people in the area who spotted them, they were being stored in open parking lots without the promised protection of Lysik's RV and expensive search and diving equipment. According to sources, word got back to Lysik that his equipment was being used without his knowledge and permission. In response, Lysik told Yurkovich to take the RV and trailer to the home of someone trusted by Adventures with Purpose, which was nearer to Yurkovich than Oregon, which was where Lysik was at the time. Allegedly, this turned into a fight with Yurkovich as he accused the informants of lying about his unauthorized use of the equipment and their claim that he wanted Lysak to be kept in the dark about it. After receiving emails and communications reporting the sightings of the RV, AWP reached out to the storage facilities Yurkovich allegedly said that he would be parking the RV at and that he actually claimed that he owned, and they were informed that he did not, in fact, own the facility. AWP then contacted the hotel that folks were reporting seeing the RV at, and the hotel confirmed that AWP's RV and trailer were indeed parked there. There are suggestions, but no proof yet that I'm aware of, that Yurkovich was actually living in the RV and had no accommodations of his own. Lysak was just now learning that much of what Yurkovich had told him about himself and the reasons he was allowed access to the RV and equipment was allegedly all based on lies. When Lysak confronted him, Yurkovich reportedly turned nasty. He refused to deliver the RV to the place that he was told to take it. So then Lysak contacted him to find out where the RV and trailer were so that they could be picked up, and Yurkovich allegedly demanded money for repairs that he could not prove had been completed. Reports are that Lysak did pay Yurkovich the maintenance fee, but that Yurkovich denied having received any or enough money from Lysak. Anyway, this all reportedly escalated to Yurkovich threatening to get a mechanics lien on the RV and trailer. Then he demanded certified paperwork before he would release the RV to Lysak. 
Then he reportedly gave Lysik a fake number to what was called dispatch to arrange for the RV and trailer to be picked up, and on and on and on. Lysik finally got in touch with a nearby tow truck driver who turned out to be a fan of AWP and made arrangements for the RV to be picked up from the hotel parking lot it was sitting at. While the driver was able to tow the RV from the lot, Yurkovich allegedly had instructed someone who has been referred to as his employee to lock the keys to the RV in the trailer, in an office, and out of Lysik's reach. Apparently, this is what finally led to Lysik threatening to contact law enforcement if Yurkovich or his employee continued to refuse to release the keys. It appears to have worked, well, kind of. According to sources, Yurkovich had his employee take the keys to a local gas station. He allegedly then informed Lysik, who was thousands of miles away at the time, that he had 15 minutes to pick up the keys or they would be left on top of a gas pump outside. Based on these reports, Yurkovich demonstrated a clear disregard for his employee by setting his employee up for criminal charges. However, Lysik was able to get the employee to take the keys inside the gas station and have them placed safely behind the counter where they were later picked up by the tow company. But it all didn't end there. Reports are that Yurkovich was blowing up Lysik's phone and making all kinds of threats through all of this, including to trash Lysik online. Yurkovich allegedly went so far as to threaten to collaborate with Josh Cantu, Lysik's former B-Real videographer, on a new attack video as a way to make Lysik suffer for having gotten his own RV back. It's hard to say how serious to take threats from people like this, but after all he's alleged to have done in this saga, it would be no surprise if he did, in fact, try to hook up with Cantu to further ruin Lysik. In his recent February 13th, 2024 Instagram post, he tags Cantu's motion picture business, Juke Motion Pictures, in what appears to be a signal that he intends to make good on the threat. And it does make sense, actually. Playing the victim while being the perpetrator is Cantu's thing, what with using and profiting from what belongs to someone else while taking petty jabs at the victim of the theft, getting caught and forced to stop, and then crying foul that there are consequences for those actions. Cantu and Yurkovich fit like two peas in a pod. In addition to the threat of getting together with Cantu, Yurkovich appears to be setting up his own YouTube channel as well. Based on those two things, the threat to join up with Cantu, and Yurkovich setting up his own dive channel, there is a high likelihood that we'll have a new GoFundMe funded AWP victim YouTuber on the rise. That's what they do. They use AWP to get famous, create some drama, start their own channels, cry victim, or do some expose on Lysik to drum up a following, and the rest is history. I can absolutely see Cantu craft and polish the latest alleged victim of Lysik, and people will empty their wallets for him as usual. It's been working wonders for Cantu for over a year. No doubt if things are as they seem, Yurkovich likely already has a similar lifestyle in his sights. We really don't need another pretender getting people's hard-earned money with nothing to show for it but fancy toys, lavish foreign vacations, and expensive Airbnbs with swimming pools while they're allegedly searching for missing loved ones. I'm here to prevent as many people as I can from falling for it again. I'll tell you one thing, Doug. Who does beat an RV? So Isaac has regained control of his RV and equipment trailer, but as of this video, I'm assuming he has not taken physical possession of it yet. These events just unfolded over the past few days. It's not known what, if any, damage exists, but based on Yurkovich's alleged behavior, it should surprise no one if there is significant damage to the RV, the trailer, and or the equipment, and what, if anything, has been stolen. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Whatever you want to call it, misappropriation, breach of trust, and or just plain theft, each state involved here has civil and criminal codes that prohibit this kind of activity and provide remedies for the actions that Yurkovich is alleged to have taken. Personally, I think Yurkovich got off easy by just having to give back what didn't belong to him in the first place. It could have been much, much worse for him and the employee he roped into all of this. One last note to address a likely criticism to this, and that's the timing of the release of this video. First, Lysak could not have foreseen what Yurkovich would do and didn't create this situation, so claiming all of this was done in order to distract from an upcoming hearing is plain idiotic. I know there will be folks who will claim that because they're addicted to drama and conspiracy. Second, Wednesday's hearing is a scheduling conference. As far as I know, Lysak is sticking to his not guilty plea and will not be discussing settlement options. Therefore, it's only about calendaring and seeing where parties are in the case, if there are any pretrial matters that need to be addressed, and basic calendar logistics before a trial is scheduled. Basically, the hearing is going to be one big snooze fest. 
Well, that's the end of the video. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I do have more videos in the works related to Isaac and Adventures with Purpose, but I appreciate your patience. I don't live on YouTube and have a busy professional and personal life. I'm not a YouTuber in the sense that I do this regularly and make money from it. I have made exactly zero dollars from publishing these videos. It's just a personal hobby and nothing more. I get videos out as I can, but it does take a lot of time, which is limited in my daily life. Also, I do have to be careful as there are open court cases related to some of the intended content, so I have to be cautious about creating problems in those areas as well. Thank you for your understanding, and again, thanks for watching. Take care.